Over 25 years ago, uh, a top Ford Motor Company executive and a 92Y board member met on a plane. And from that conversation developed a great rapport uh, that turned into a wonderful relationship between a corporate funder and uh, 92nd Street Y as a major nonprofit. It seems very fitting that Ford, a company that is both quintessentially American and consummately global has grown with 92Y as we have come to serve local communities and always that will be at the heart of our work and also local communities across the planet. It is my great pleasure to participate in International Four Fellowship this year and uh, I grow tremendously after the program in terms of personal development and community leadership. I know that 92Y International Relations staff and Ford Motor Company have put great effort in this program and I really appreciate and I feel very grateful for that. The purpose of the Ford Motor Company International Fellowship of 92nd Street Y is to provide intensive nonprofit management training for leaders who can take this training and solve and, and address the most pressing problems in their communities. We want to help successful leaders who already have a proven track record and the trust of their communities take a giant leap to becoming leaders of tomorrow in their countries. We have three goals of the program. The first goal is to encourage broad, open-minded, creative partnerships, both within the nonprofit sector, but also across sectors with the traditional others, the business world, the government world, academia, the legal world. One of the things that like, strikes me in a very positive way that I noticed is how many connections you have outside of 90 Second Y, because I understand what it takes to arrange meetings on such a level with so many people, so many different organizations, and have them meet us. So here we are having completed our 11th year of the fellowship. We have 233 alumni from 58 different countries, and our academic partner, Columbia University, our focus too is on living up to the standards of building partnerships with local NGOs, with local businesses, with government leaders, with other academic leaders um, such as Yale University, uh, and also with the legal sector, um, which uh, we've brought in to discuss possible relationships between pro bono work at major global law firms and our fellows NGOs. We're very proud of the fact that Ford Motor Company um, elected 92nd Street Y as a partner in this endeavor. So uh, that partnership, we hope, shows what great corporate social responsibility and a responsive nonprofit partner uh, can do together. The second goal is to improve the fellows' presentation skills. They're going to need to communicate with many different audiences and many different potential partners. We institute within the fellowship various trainings, such as the uh, training we have with 92Y board member David Rose, um, who is an angel investor and whose talk on presentation skills has appeared on TED Talks. We work with uh, various trainings to ensure that um, the fellows are thinking about how they deliver their messages and what their potential partners need to know about them in order to feel that a partnership could be successful. Part of the fellowship training includes a session on branding with 92Y uh, Director of Marketing Felicia Stingoni. Excellent branding in a marketing sense actually requires very deep philosophical thought and deep awareness of who one is as an organization, and how it all resonates together to deliver a consistent, powerful message about what this organization is and what it delivers. The third goal of the program is to keep in mind that we need to be aligned internally in how we approach our work and externally in terms of how we approach our service 
in terms of really what is best for the community we serve and making sure our focus is always there. Firstly, based on Anna's suggestion, I was really um, too passionate to help every organization. That by the end I have to learn that I have to be realistic, not all organizations will sustain. There are also two underlying aspirations of the fellowship. The fellowship provides an opportunity for all of us involved to get to know the other, that inaccessible person who hasn't been a real part of our lives. And because the fellowship brings together people uh, from countries, some of which do not have diplomatic relations, because it brings people together from cultures that have traditionally had enormous tensions, this one-on-one -on -one opportunity becomes an extraordinary opportunity for friendships to blossom where one might not expect, and for us to educate each other. This amazing experience uh, has shown me that I'm not alone, or to make a change in the little communities. Uh, and really, and I realized that you, all of you, uh, have a willingness to support me. I think that no matter where we come from, uh, different uh, work, different jobs, different organizations, different sectors, NGO, business, even governments. And but I think that we that kind of diversity is really uh, interesting and helpful for us to exchange the ideas and learn from each other. That leads me to the other underlying aspiration of the fellowship, which is to ensure that there is a, a, a multi-channeled flow of information and idea exchange within a particular fellowship and across the years. And that mutual respect and, and awareness that we all have something to learn from each other is a major component of the fellowship. Though the training is nonprofit management training for nonprofit management leaders, over the years we have seen that Many of our fellows have experience in a variety of fields, including government, business. They show entrepreneurialism, that willingness to take risks, to try something new, to uh, build something new, and to build up to scale. We also invite uh, leaders in the business world to uh, find common ground with these nonprofit leaders and, and discuss entrepreneurial skills that are transferable from the business world to the nonprofit world. During this program, I learned about social work, about social entrepreneurship, and I answer a question that I keep, keep asking me uh, for a very long time, how can I connect uh, doing something good for the society and also sustainability in terms of economic development and uh, in terms of personal development, for, not only for me, but for for the people in an organization and people in the community at large. And I finally found my answer here from uh, our uh, lectures, our workshop, our visiting to NGOs, nonprofit organizations, and especially from this, the sharing of my matters. One of the topics we discuss and look at individually with fellows is how can they develop their board of directors? What can you do to expand your board in a way that is most healthy and positive for your organization? Likewise, what is the relationship between board and staff? These are all questions that we explore with fellows and with people who can give their feedback as to patterns that they've seen over their many years. So one of the main uh, goals that I am uh, posted for me uh, within the next uh, month is, is to invest more and more and more and more in uh, my staff because it's very important uh, to have people who are empowered, who are uh, highly qualified, professional, and uh, so that become also, you know, uh, leaders and uh, uh, very efficient. When the fellows come to us, one of their key concerns is usually fundraising. How do they approach donors? How do they encourage people to give to their organizations? And what has impressed me over the years has been a kind of a, a cultural gap and a gap of understanding between 
those people who work in the nonprofit world and the very donors they seek to cultivate. And the more a donor is seen as a full human being, the more there's a chance to foster a, a genuine connection. I really got a more clearer understanding of an American donor, which I didn't expect. The issues like branding, marketing, strategic planning, and fundraising are of iron value. And uh, all the information that we had here was very useful and also very motivating because uh, I already have the idea of uh, and the desire to, to be a good fundraiser, and it helped a lot in my motivation to continue the way to, to be a fundraiser for, for my organization. What do we look for when we're selecting applicants as finalists for Ford Fellows? We're looking for people who are open to an experience that will expose them to a diversity of points of view, a diversity of people, and a cooperative notion of success that uh, heals wounds and um, builds uh, channels of communication across traditional divides, across traditional tensions, and people who are interested in really going home and delivering what they've learned to their communities for the benefit of their communities. One of the most valuable things I learned from this fellowship is the methodology and the way I can brainstorm, uh, initiate my ideas and how to implement it strategically into my um, own organization. Now when I go back, uh, I carry with me my energy and I, I will try to rejuvenate my team. The first thing I will do a three-day workshop on the learnings of the Ford Fellowship. The second thing is uh, design and introduce uh, teaching learning materials in all my uh, I mean, uh, resource centers which I have learned in PS57 school. I am sometimes asked, why does 92nd Street Y have an international relations department? Why does it run the Ford Fellowship? It is there in our mission statement that we are an American Jewish community and cultural center that serves everyone of all socioeconomic, racial, ethnic, religious, national backgrounds. And because we live today in 2011, not only can we serve the people who actually walk through our doors, but we can also serve the people who live much more remotely from us but can connect to us via technology. My, uh, my second goal is a surgery for one child uh, in my center. He su she suffered on uh, cardiovascular malformation, congenital, and uh, I just talked with Liat and with uh, her help, I uh, probably surgery her in Israel. I probably, I hope so. Uh, I would like to uh, start communication uh, with all of you, your organization, and the organizations and foundations I have visited here to uh, encourage them, motivate them to include disability who are not yet included. And I know many friends um, in India, so I would like to link them with you so that you both uh, will get the benefit. So it's a very exciting part of who we are as a profoundly local institution that can bring our local, particular local wisdom and share it with others abroad, just as we benefit tremendously from the various kinds of local wisdom that come to us through the Ford Fellowship Program. When the Ford Motor Company Fund president was asked in the height of the global economic crisis in 2008 why he continued funding nonprofits, Jim Vella responded, this is not about charity, it's about an, an investment in communities. It was an amazing program, everything was you know, so well organized and with so much thought and love we all saw that and with so much content so that each one of us can really um, enrich his capacities. And I really believe that this fellowship will continue to be huge, successful and sustainable in the future. Thank you.